What's up and good afternoon guys. Welcome back to another video. So the original beginning audio of this video got completely screwed up. So we're gonna redo it real quick and then we'll jump into the video. This is part two of pimping out my Diamond C, my 2023 Diamond C LPT dump trailer. You guys know I can't keep anything stock and I love lights. So we're gonna jump into getting this thing all decked out with all kinds of strobe lights and work lights and all that. Let's jump to the actual beginning of this video. Sergio's working on the wiring that's gonna go on this side. Again, it's just basically the mirror image of what we did over there. I got in trouble by my boss, guys. I didn't uh, make this hole big enough. So this one, we have to connect basically three sets of wires. We have the wires coming in, and then we have to daisy chain back out, plus connecting to the light wires, and then we gotta feed them all back through that little hole. What's gonna happen? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> We got a little extra length, you know, we got to yeah. cut it and redo it and yeah. drill the hole bigger. Fun. Make it fun. Oh, yeah. Get it, Sergio. Get it, Sergio. <laughs> That's why I heard a lot of people say, I don't like uh, messing with wires. I know why. <laughs> now I don't know. You, you picked the wrong career, Sergio. <laughs> a little warm, Sergio? <laughs> a little warm? You might want to wait. A few seconds. <laughs> no, we can handle this. All right, you, you got this, man. <laughs> you got this. Okay, one. There you go. All right, looking good, looking good. Two, oh, look three, at that. That's a perfect size hole, three, Sergio. Three, yeah. I want an apology. Oh, I would have preferred to tape the whole thing. But oh, okay. <laughs> I never. We're working with what we got. Now, in this wire loom, we also ran the wires that are going to be powering the two side lights. And then, obviously, we are mirrored on this other side, tied in. Uh, it all runs in using the Diamond C welded on clips, and it runs into the giant toolbox. safety brace lower her back down so we can access those back lights and then we should only have to put her up maybe one more this? time oh, you want to crush the can <laughs> i'm down <laughs> I don't want to do this. so we're going to lower back down so we can get the rear finished up and then all we have left to do is the lights in the box which are honestly kind of the harder ones we actually have to modify the lights to fit with the welds in the corners and uh See if we remember exactly how we did it on the last one, because the last one was awesome. It worked out beautifully. Teamwork makes the dream work, Sergio. We did it, buddy. We did it. Did it? We did it. Nice. All right. I'll meet you at the next hole. We'll do it again. All right. So we're feeding the wires from that side over to here, because again, this is kind of our main point. Right. We're going to basically do what they did and zip tie them up out of the way so they're not hanging down and getting in the way of the ramps. So for these inside corner mount ones, again, we have all this weld in the corner. And obviously these make pretty close to a 90 degree angle. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close to a 90 degree. So if we really want that to sit tight, uh, we have to grind this down a little bit. Now we could just hold them off to where the weld was and it's probably not that big of a deal, but that's not as cool to me. I've got the Milwaukee die grinder. It's not that hard to rip a little bit of the housing off. These are our aluminum housing, uh, so they grind off really easy. But before we do that, we have to put a hole because I can't figure out exactly where these need to be without having the wire inside of that hole. So we're going to come almost all the way to the top. I'm going to go just below this little radius there and that should fit tight. Let's get our pilot hole drilled. No going back now. Okay, don't tell Sergio, but I've been uh, breaking a lot of his drill bits. <laughs> this diamond C metal is no joke. And uh, I don't know, these are all Milwaukee drill bits that his dad got for like really cheap on sale. And it came in a Milwaukee package, but I'm starting to question the quality there. But most of these drill bits that you get suck. Like it's just, they ain't for metal. But we're gonna try out my Hercules drill bit set. I've never used this. So let's see how Harbor Freight stacks up. Ugh, which way's open? No, this is not easy to do with one hand. There we go. Got the whole Harbor Freight drill set. And this actually goes all the way up to half inch where most drill bit sets definitely do not go to half inch. At least not in like the, you know, under $100 kit. Look at that, we got two eighth inch, we got two sixteenths. So all the small ones that you're gonna use as pilot bits and you're probably gonna break, they uh, double up in here, which is nice. Uh, we even doubled up on the 11 64th. They almost doubled up on everything. Doubled up on a 3 16th, two quarter inches. So all the common sizes got doubled up. So we just need to get big enough to get this step bit in, which Sergio actually has my entire Harbor Freight set of step bits because he wanted to try them out and I knew he'd be using them more than I would. So I need to go find those somewhere in there. But I think I only have bigger ones. I don't have this little one. Let's go with a quarter inch. After everybody's gonna ask where my Harbor Freight drill and driver set are, those are at the house. 
We are using all of Sergio's tools today. I know you guys hate when I say it, but Harbor Freight has stepped their game up. I am impressed by those. That went through super easy compared to the like two or three other drill bits that I was fighting. Harbor Freight for the win nowadays. Now that our hole is sized up, let's just feed this in to get a little idea of what we need to take off the backside. Again, it's easier to do it once the hole is already there because we can actually fit this exactly where it's gonna go and we won't have the wire hitting um, and like keeping us from putting it where we want it. And you can see not a lot that has to come off. We're just gonna kind of eyeball that. There we go. You guys can see right there. She is fitting nice and tight. We took a good amount off the backside there, but oh, get the wire back in. There we go. This is a very, very minute detail that most people wouldn't care about, nor would they take the time to do, but I feel like I wouldn't be where I'm at in life if I didn't care about little details like this and OCD out on stuff. To me, it just, you know, like take the time to get your fit and finish a little bit better. And I think we achieved that right there. Now that I've gotten both lights in, we need to drill a few more holes out here because we're basically getting our wire. It's popping into this piece of square tubing and we don't want to come out underneath anywhere where we're going to be on a pinch point between the frame and the actual box. So what we did on my last trailer was we drilled a hole off the side, came over and then got into this piece of rectangle tubing. And from there we run the wire all the way back and connected to the wiring that we've already run all the way down. I gotta say guys, super, super impressed. I mean, this thing is all, it's gotta be at least 3 16 inch thick. And these bits are chewing through it, no problem. It's actually like, this drill sucks. <laughs> so, you broke another? No, I, I have not broken since I've switched over to uh, Harbor Freight. Okay. That's good news for you, because I'm not breaking any more of your bits. <laughs> yep. Basically, I'm getting it up to 5 16 and then I just come back in with this step bit and uh, size it up to, I don't know, I just eyeballed it. Sergio, does that look good for you? This one right here? Yeah. Oh, bigger. Bigger? Now, to get the wire from there to down there, we're gonna do a little magnet fishing. Look at this. I'm gonna sell this on a snap-on truck. Ooh, scented too. Got a couple of nuts attached to the end here. I'm gonna shove those. Oh, are they gonna fit? I need to make that hole a little bit bigger. Maybe, maybe not. There we go. All right, shove those down in there. Now, speaking of snap-on, we do have a little snap-on screwdriver here with a magnet, and now we just have to find those. Hold on, we gotta get these metal shavings off. Let's see if we can attach to those nuts. Yeah, that magnet's strong. All right, we're using two magnets, because there's kind of like the corner of this uh, actual box meets inside of here. So to about here is the edge of the box, then it's open over here. So All right, we made a custom magnet. Let's see, oh, we're go now we're really going magnet fishing. Ow. A little sharp, Sergio. Right in here. Get it. What? Your movement, sir. I'm moving. On the top. I'm moving. I'm moving. I don't feel nothing. Is this what you did last time? Yep. That's impressive, Sergio. Same easy. I think the other magnets were strong. All right, guys. We've sacrificed Sergio's snap-on screwdriver and broke the magnet off. He's fishing with that right now. We're we're on like magnet number three, and so far striking out. So. So he just says I can break this magnet, get us some small pieces. I don't really know what's gonna happen here, but oh well. <laughs> what happened? I broke it. Nice. Uh, right. <laughs> I don't think this magnet's very strong. No. Nah, I mean, I don't know. I've given up, guys. We're going up underneath. We're gonna drill a hole, and then Sergio's got some rubber caps that we can cap it with. But you think right here, a little closer in? I think it's right there. You think so? Well, with the big hole, <laughs> we got it this far. We got to come in from this way. So now I'll just shove it over to that side and we should be able to get it. Let's see. Ow. Ah, that was my finger. Did I get your finger? Yeah. How come I'm not grabbing the stupid thing? I grabbed it earlier through that Where hole. Where is it? I don't know, I grabbed it through that hole and I shoved it this way. This way? Yeah. I just had it. I just had it, Sergio. Hold on, hold on. Here we go, Sergio. We got it. We are now feeding the wire through off the corner angle lights. And this has to be a really long wire because the skin has to run all the way to the back to the hinge point where it was already pre-wired to hook up to these. Yeah, Sergio, perfect size hole. 
get it in. Easy, look at that, beautiful. Mag magnets, use magnets for the lights. On the back side here, we drilled this hole. Hold on, let's see if I can get this in before Sergio comes all the way down. Let's see if I can trap his fishing line that he's gonna send down. Keep going. Keep going. Well, it was tough, guys, but I got it. <coughs> or Sergio got it. But we are all the way through. The crappy thing is, uh, it's just one side. <laughs> we got to do this whole thing all over again. And Sergio's kind of running out of time today. It might be a three day video. Wasn't expecting that. But there's a lot that goes into like running this many wires. We haven't even gotten like to the controller and all that stuff inside the toolbox. This is just all like the hardware side of things. All right, wires are coming. Okay, on the other side here, that like worked flawlessly the first time. We were able to actually grab it with the magnet. Of course, it was when we weren't filming, but uh, yeah, worked great. So now we're going to pull this through. Are we stuck? Uh, is that? I think this, the string is stuck. Oh, let me get the string out. All right. No big hole in the bottom? No big hole. We didn't need a big hole in the bottom. You didn't film it? <laughs> <laughs> of course not. Of course, when the camera's off, it goes flawless. I told you, is there something wrong with the camera? It's the camera? All right, we'll blame the camera. Oh, it's something. It's something. The camera's on. And... Welcome to my life, Sergio. Welcome to my life. <laughs> and I don't like to stage stuff, so I don't want to ever like redo it and be like, oh, look, we nailed it. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. For fishing wires on this side, we got a little more clever. Being that there's not a bunch of wires on the outside of the frame like there was on the other side, I figured, you know, if I could get the bit inside this light pocket, let's just drill it there. And well, we were able to, I don't know if that's gonna show up on camera, it's a little dark in there. However, this is our fish line, it came all the way through and everything's gonna be contained inside this light pocket so we don't have to, you know, come outside right here and then pop back in. There we go, we got wire. Now that the wire is all run from here, it is crossed over and then Sergio has this big old mess of wires to figure out <laughs> what goes to what. Cause again, this is like our central meeting point from everything coming together and going back up to the toolbox. There you go. Oh, found some wires? There you go. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> a little short. <laughs> a little. We didn't, we didn't measure out enough Sergios. Wires for yeah, we didn't measure out enough Sergios. That was you, probably. I, I don't think so. No? no? I'm not allowed to measure around here, it's all you. <laughs> so this is the benefit of color coding everything and not just <laughs> grabbing random wires. That Sergio knows, basically every color goes to every color on the back side. Yep, yep. Pretty simple. Yeah, you can say. Well, it's, it's simple watching you. <laughs> These are cool ones. They change from bigger to smaller oh, butt two, connectors. Two size wires? Yeah. I like that. So all the grounds together. Okay, 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 okay. Or... Say all the Q3s together, right? All the Q3s together. So what that's gonna mean is we didn't run separate wires to have like the rears come on only, or like you could do each side. We could have run that, but that would have been a three new sets of wires. Instead, we just opted, let's keep it simple, even though we haven't done that for any part of this. And when you trigger the Q3s, which are the side lights here, those are going to come on as all white and it'll be both sides and the rear will come on at the same time. It'd be great for scene lighting, work lighting, you know, whatever maybe, we'll see. I don't know, we'll see how bright they are. I'm kind of excited to see them. I have not seen the new Q3s. Now that pretty much all the wiring's done on the trailer itself, this is where the brains of the operation are gonna come into play. We're gonna make a little board. This is basically what we did on the last trailer. And we're gonna have our fuse block, our remote system, and then the flash controller. And this is what the magic behind making the factory lights flash is that bugger right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. You got it right, man. So Sergio's doing his layout so we know where to cut this little piece of like, I don't even know what this straight, is. It's straight this time? <laughs> yeah, you own a table saw now. Now it's gonna be straight. <laughs> <laughs> So we're getting everything attached here. This is the controller that is going to allow this to work off of the remote. Um, they don't have any mounting holes though. Well, there is a little keyhole in the back there, but I'm just going to unscrew the uh, circuit board. We'll screw this back plate on and then we'll screw that back down. What do you want to so cheap with those? It's not, it's not the most high end remote yeah. system, but the Sergio had, had. The one we had here for yeah, testing. It's been, it's been on Sergio's shelf forever, so I'm taking it. <laughs> <laughs> if it fails, we'll swap it out to something new. And then we've got our fuse block, so we'll leave room right here just in case, you know. We, we always got a one up, so we might add something later. I just watched Sergio for the last like 1.3 minutes. <laughs> Hang near, get this entire thing wired up as if he uh, can do this in his sleep. So again, we've got all our functions coming in there. And basically the way you wire it up, you can see, uh, you know, it's a little backwards. 
What, where's the A? One, B, C, D? What's it? I put an A for it. Oh, I was starting to put one and then I forgot, oh no, they're oh, using yeah, yeah. letters instead of. So basically you wire up to a, B, the little block based on what function you want. So A, we're going to do is the two side lights. B is going to be all the lights white around the edges. C will be the strobes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Easy. Easy peasy. You know, there's two types of people in this world. You've got, uh, you know, these guys are just gonna, you know, work and bust their butt all day. And then you got, you know, us, us book smart people over here. Reading uh, engineering yeah. problem solving. Sergio, I got you. All right. When you encounter a problem, you call me, okay? All right, I'm good. I feel like I turned to a page of stuff I actually know. Like there was just like no way that was gonna happen in this book. What was this? Engineering problem solving. Oh, C++. What is, I don't know how you learn how to program in C++. So. Oh, I don't even know what C++ Coding. is. I probably should have started with that first. That's, that's <laughs> different programming codes. Okay. It's like a language. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, but that's, um, huh. there you have a hundred now. Oh, look at this. Yeah, see, I took notes. I was writing notes in here. <laughs> Interesting. Never been much of a studier. Thank God I was a good test taker. Hold on, Sergio. We got to give you credit, buddy. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Uh, that's where the screw's going to go. Oh, is that where the screw's going to go? <laughs> I think so. Oh. All right, we'll go a little further over. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, it's gotta be straight. Uh, uh, it's a weird angle. Are we straight? No, nope, nope, right there. Pretty straight. Okay. There we go, Sergio, there we go. Now we give you credit. Here is the board all finished up. We did forget one function, which was the uh, bed lights. Those are gonna be on a separate switch on the remote. So that will be function D. Pretty much, so we're using every single function on the remote, which is this whole panel here. The cover doesn't really have a cutout for these. I know we don't really feel like you know, making one that's just a little plastic cover with openings in it. It's not like it waterproofs or anything. So no need to put the cover back on. This is going to get bolted right there. We thought about doing it on that back wall, but if I have all of my uh, chains and binders in here, they're sliding back and forth. I don't want them to smack this and end up, you know, breaking the flash or ripping a wire out or something. Yeah, it's out of warranty. All right, Sergio's working on the wiring, but we're gonna put the fuse in ahead of time so we can shock him. Okay. Watch him uh, squirm. Squirm. <laughs> With all 12 volts. Making all of our connections. Where's the controller? Oh, we need that? Yeah, we need that. All right, all right. We've got our controller. A. Well, what's up? Oh, are they on? Why is that on A? <laughs> that was supposed to be D. <laughs> okay. I think you marked him backwards. <laughs> okay, I did probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, they'll be backwards on there. Whatever, I'll relearn them. This is teamwork, guys. This is teamwork. All righty, y'all. She is all buttoned up. Ew. <laughs> 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 oh, all right. Walk it off, Sergio. Sergio, I'm not going to cry on camera, okay? <laughs> Looks like that hurt. Oh, that, that didn't feel good. Thanks. All right. So she's all buttoned up. Look at how clean the wiring looks. Again, this is where we tapped the you know right there we tapped the original wiring from the trailer so we took the power wire coming in for the trailer lights and basically intercepted it sent it to the flash controller and then came back on the outside of the flash controller and like went back in right, right. so it's basically you got power coming in through the flash controller back out and then into the trailer lighting and that is what tells all of the factory lighting to strobe but then you have to program it because when you turn your running lights on you don't want them to strobe and we made that mistake the very first time we did this to one of my trailers and every time you turn the running lights on all the lights will just start strobing small detail small detail, small <laughs> detail but we don't miss that detail anymore so now they're programmed we can turn the running lights on and you have no strobing running lights you just have regular running lights and if you prioritize it correctly and you turn on the flashing lights even though they're they're steady on right now they will flash because it prioritizes the warning light instead of the running lights there you go so if you're pulled over on the side of the road and you have your lights on and it's nighttime you can still turn the strobes on and then these will switch over to strobe mode yeah. knowing that because again that's that's the priority that sergio programmed into it so let's see even though we did uh this is all backwards now so i don't even remember what's what uh c c, I think. c there we go all right so now we have the factory trailer lighting strobing, and this is all that we had done on my previous Diamond C trailer, which again, it's not a whole lot of lights. So to bring the strobes up, we now have the Q3s, which are doing amber and white strobe. We've got those two, obviously again, the two on the other side, and then the two in the rear, which actually make a much bigger impact than I had originally thought they would be in back here. But I told you, we needed those. Yeah, good job, Sergio. And we realized we could actually put some up here if we wanted to, because this hinge doesn't, it, it like stays far enough away. So uh, yeah, we'll be back for Sergio. Uh, Show him how you make him be steady on. Steady on, okay. So then we hit B, I believe. There we go. So now we have steady on on both sides. 
How do we turn the, do we not turn the, how do we turn the, there, there we go. Right? Yeah, okay. So I turned off the factory um, light strobing and then we'll have steady on, so we'll have work lights. And again, they're flickering on camera. They are not flickering in person. That's just the frame rate of the camera and the frame rate of the LEDs. Uh, so we will show that at night, but I'm curious to see how bright they are. Um, I don't think they're gonna be super bright, but it's, nah, it's, it's something off the sides, which we've yeah. never had lights off the side. And then we honestly have our upfront lights, which these are the ones that I really enjoy and every trailer should have. That is those lights right there. Those just make life super enjoyable when you're backing up. And if you have a backup wire on a trailer, wire those into the backup wire. And then every time you put it in reverse, you'll have those to light up around you when you're backing up. It makes it really nice. That's how we have it set up on my deck over trailer. We just didn't want to have to build a new whole wire setup for this one because they don't have the seventh pin. And then of course, my other favorite lights, the in-bed lights. And again, I'm gonna show you guys all of this as soon as it gets dark. It's slowly getting there. And we'll probably take this out to the ranch. So it's like dark, dark and show you guys all of this awesome lighting and then hold on let's just let's get everything everything lit up and strobing <laughs> hold on wait for it Go, gotta remember which button's what that one that one there we go all right so there she is i'll give you a diagram with the instructions <laughs> which button <does laughs> yeah. so basically i'm just going to leave um one of these clipped inside of the toolbox we opted on this trailer to also not go with hardwired switches um i don't know just didn't really feel a need for it we're going to leave a remote in here and if we ever lose the remote or the batteries die then you know what we're without lights but I think between these two, we'll be okay. And we can always come back to Sergio and have him hardwire and some switches. And then I'm gonna keep one remote in the truck. That way, as you're driving, if you're backing up, you just hit, you know, D, and we've got the sides lit up. Now again, sorry GoPros kinda suck at night, but I am just coming back to the ranch, and this is gonna be a great test of the trailer. Just pulling into my driveway alone uh, shows you guys why I really do like the lights that point backwards at the tires and it'll make a lot of sense. So we got to turn in pretty tight and there's a couple little walls here. And again, I'm sorry, it's very dark. So let's kick on our rear lights. And again, we do have marker lights on the fenders, but it doesn't show you exactly where the tires are. But if we turn those lights on, now we know exactly where the edge of those tires are. So we do not end up hitting that wall that's right there that you really can't see. Again, hopefully this is showing up good on camera, but you can see these lights are super, super nice to have as we ride the edge of that wall. All right, guys, I've switched over to my phone camera because they do much better at night. And let's just start playing with some lights. Let's hit num button. Let's hit button A. So button A, yeah, you guys have probably seen this on my previous Diamond C trailer. That is the actual inbox lighting. And again, I know people are going to cry and say that these are going to break. They have not broken on my previous trailer. And it would take something very small to go into this corner very tight to hit it. Anything bigger would like block up on the corner. And I'm always careful when I load my trailer anyway because I don't want to beat the crap up out of my trailer. So these are a must-have, though, for chaining up at night, even loading at night. I mean, you guys can see just how nice it lights the box up. Now let's go with, I don't know what button, C. Let's see what C does. Is that the side lights? Oh, no, C is our strobes. There we go. Look at that. So adding those Q3s, I think, was a huge upgrade for my previous trailer. Again, the previous trailer, we just had the factory light strobe, which were too low, in my opinion. It didn't bring the strobes up high enough to really catch your attention. Plus, the amber white uh, color changing really does help get your attention. And they're actually a lot brighter than I had imagined they would be. Let's take a little step back, and we'll show the rear ones as well. This thing is definitely going to be seen now. That is for sure. We'll turn the strobes off and let's turn all of those Q3s to white. So this would be work lighting. And I was wrong, guys. I didn't think they were going to be that bright, but I'll be damned. They are bright. You can see, I mean, obviously the Broncos kind of there blocking it from lighting up further, but they light up plenty as do the ones coming up off the back. Let's turn the inbox ones off there. That way we're just looking at the rear. But I gotta say, those are very, very nice. And we'll shut those off. And of course we have, again, I think I'm gonna trademark these lights because I've been doing it since day one of my first trailer that I bought. And gonna do this to every trailer I have. At the very least, my trailers are always gonna have these lights that light up off the side right there. It just makes it so nice for maneuvering in dark places like this at night. But let's put all the lights on now. And these ones actually, 
you can switch between the two, but these will still flash if we decide to keep these all white um, or we go back to all of them all flashing. So here she is looking fantastic. Now, as always, I got to give Sergio a huge shout out. This ended up taking a lot longer than we had anticipated because he was working in between actual like other customers' vehicles and helping me out on this. So huge thank you to Sergio. If you guys are interested in any of the products you saw in this video, iep-usa.com. There's always a link down in my description and use code DMAXRINE. I'll get you a little discount if you would like or call up Sergio if you're local and he can do installs like this and all kinds of other stuff for you if you are interested. But for now, we're going to wrap up as always. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that you're not missing out on any future content. And don't forget to give this video a like, get a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workfortapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you got to be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. I'm out. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.